The explosion extinguished the lights immediately and I was hurled forward owing to the pressure of the water flooding in. I was driven upwards. I held my breath. UC-32 was a German submarine and on the 23rd of February 1917 she set out armed with 18 mines to lay along the northeast coast of England. But no sooner had she laid her first, an enormous explosion tore through the sub and sent her crashing to the seabed. At last I saw a light. I swam towards it. An English sailor handed me an oar and pulled me into his boat. They were kind to us and kept giving us their cigarettes. Tragically, it had been one of the sub's own mines that caused the explosion. Of the 25 crew, only three survived, and UC-32 has lain at the bottom of the sea for almost a 100 years. 2016, an HMS Blythe has been sent to investigate the wreck following oh, reports of possible Blythe. unexploded ordnance. Five ahead, sir, sir. If it does exist, it poses a risk to fishermen, divers, and all those who sail these waters. Good morning to the operations officer on HMS Blythe. Sure enough, the team discover one of the sub's seven torpedoes is still intact at its stern. The crew must now get straight on to alerting the harbour master and ensuring everyone knows of their intention to detonate the 100-year-old torpedo. But obviously it'll have to stop mm -hmm. traffic in and out for that That's duration. That's not, not a problem doing that. Do you, do you need any help? Do you need any safety boards or anything like that? Yes, please. The police are also involved so they can reassure anyone disconcerted by a strange explosion off the coast. Back on board and it's time to try and put together the explosives that will be used to dispose of the ordnance. What I don't want to do is put any stress on this. So if you've tied that end and that end starts to pull, I don't want any of the components to come out. Or we do. As the plan comes together, HMS Blythe's crew prove their resourcefulness. Oh yeah, broomstick would work it. A couple of broomsticks would be ideal. Yeah. Two broomsticks side by side or what, what you got? Before long, they have a fully compliant detonation device with explosives, gaffer tape to two broomsticks and a roll of bubble wrap to act as a float. So what we've done is we've created here our explosive charge of four kilos of plastic explosive underneath there um, tied to a baton. This is going to allow us to secure it to the body of the torpedo. We can do this because we know it's still in a safe, unarmed condition. So although all of the explosive train is in place in the torpedo, it hasn't been armed and therefore can be touched. So what we've got here, coming from the surface, we'll have the deck cord running down from the surface. The diver's then going to swim down. He's going to place this onto the body of the torpedo using the securing lines here to tie it in place. That'll give us good contact. So in here, four kilos is going to create a relatively small explosion, which is then going to send a shockwave through the body of the torpedo and hopefully um, sympathetically detonate the uh, explosive inside. So this is four kilos inside the body of the torpedo. We have 164 kilos. So we're looking at a factor of around 40 to 41 times. Uh, as soon as we can get away. Early the next morning, the divers load into boats and head for the wreck. So this is the electric detonator here. This is the most dangerous part of the evolution because this is the most sensitive explosive. No. I don't get nervous with my own, I get nervous with other people's. As the detonator is set up, there's still one last trip to be made down to UC-32. Right, I'll take it like that then, because that's going to win. It's really important for us to remember those who have gone before us. Whichever side they fought during, during the war, um, they're still uh, members, of a, members of a navy and mariners. Uh, so we thought it, was a bit, it would be a fitting thing to do, just to uh, lay a reef, um, just, just as a, a small act of remembrance. Everybody was there doing a job. They were fighting for what they believed in, they were fighting for their values. And so, as a, a sailor, I think we all have a common ground that dying at sea, you don't have a grave you can visit, you don't go to um, a mass war grave, it is the sea. And therefore you should have respect for, for all those who perish. Right. Happy Phil. The task fell to able diver Phil Newlove to place the device. 
A few minutes later, with everyone safely back on board, it was time to put UC-32's last torpedo to rest and make the Sunderland coast safe for all to fish, sail and dive peacefully for centuries to come. Stand by! Fire it! Hannah King, Forces News, on HMS Blythe.